Hey guys, Temper here with the, sorry, for the weekly roundup for May 11th. As I said, notebook this time, no loose leaf papers. So let's get right into it. This week in video games, the very popular PC game Divinity Original Sin has an enhanced edition coming out later this year for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. If you've been waiting to play it, and if you've seen it on Twitch or on YouTube, it's coming out with an enhanced edition. So pick that up. It's a really good game. Assassin's Creed Syndicate got announced with a cinematic trailer, I think. There's two playable characters. One's a female. Hey, Ubisoft re realized how to make women, sort of. It's set in industrial era London. I'd have to double check that, but you know, another Assassin's Creed game. Finally, in video game news, Nintendo released an E3 trailer and announced the return of the Nintendo World Championship. If you haven't seen the ne the E3 trailer, it's really funny. It's got uh, Reggie Fizzimi in it, and it's amazing. It's it's very funny. On television, uh, another True Detective Season 2 trailer was released, and it's really cool. There's a Supergirl first look trailer, and it disappointed the hell out of everybody. And then CBS immediately released a lesser, less... Girlified, I don't know if that's her actual word, uh, second trailer, which was less disappointing. Uh, there's a Lucifer official trailer released by Fox, looks pretty cool. And Legends of Tomorrow, the Arrow spin-off, Arrow slash Flash spin-off, sorry, has a trailer out this week, and it was really cool. It was really, really On to comics, only one thing in the comics world that was pretty big. Archie Comics, you know, people who publish Archie and a couple other stuff, and like the Mega Man comics and the Sonic comics, they launched a Kickstarter campaign, and got hella criticized because they're a big publisher that honestly doesn't need the Kickstarter money. So they then saw fit to cancel it yesterday, uh, May 16th. Movies, new photos from Deadpool, which look cool. Gem and the Hologram trailer number one re got released and this is the week of disappointing trailers for female-led television and or movies. It disappointed the hell out of everybody. It is a lot less gem the holograms from the 80s and more like, hey, here's this kind of weird story about a band and the YouTube age and gem is being, con or trying to be convinced by big business to leave the holograms behind and it's, yeah, it just, nah. It, 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 it didn't sell a lot of people. Local stuff, our friends over at Esports Puerto Rico and First Attack or have opened registration up for First Attack Puerto Rico. Go to firstattackpr.com, that's F-I-R-S-T-A-T-T-A-C-K-P-R.com to register to participate in the fighting game tournament. The PRCC floor plan, floor plan went up for the public. Uh, go to PR, prcomiccon.squarespace.com for that. Their public transport guide is also out. That was on their Tumblr and that was on their Facebook page. And uh, also, there's they announced their schedules are up on their Tumblr. And then finally, there's a PRCC exclusive Mezgo Toys Dark Knight Returns figure, and it looks really, really cool. Check it out at PRCC. Speaking of PRCC, we'll be at booth 312, that's 312, and PRCC is this Friday. Doors open. At noon. Finally, for us over here at Geek World, we have the Netflix edition of Hunter x Hunter, or actually it's Hunter x Hunter, the X is Silent, Japan, man, I don't know, by our own Zork. Gotham episode 19 review by Snowdrift. Again, uh, check us out at www.geek-whale.com, that's G-E-E-K-W-H-A-L-E.com for more on both those stories and more stuff. Just all our blog posts and everything. And remember, we'll be at booth 312. Look for us there. I'm Temper. This has been the Weekly Roundup. And uh, I'll see you next week.